I guess this is my life now. Being obsessed with YouTube. And I don't know how to make it stop. YouTube is a tricky business. And if you're not careful, it can be problematic. Like, I cannot, first of all, believe that I'm making this video right now because I'm about to hit 1,000 subscribers. Why is life so complicated? I don't get it. Like, instead of doing this right now, I could just go watch something on Netflix, right? We always hear this, everybody, you know, at least people on YouTube, creators, uh, YouTubers, big YouTubers um, say, be a, be a producer and not a consumer. So being a producer means you always like produce videos. You're, you're, you're doing something, you're producing something. You're putting something out. You're doing something creative. Um, you're writing something or you're working on something. You're producing, right? At the same time, consumption, like don't be a consumer, means don't sit and doom scroll. Don't sit and watch thousand reels on Instagram and spend like two hours on it. Or don't sit and watch Netflix all the time. Don't be sitting in front of video games all the time. So we have this new concept of be a producer first and not a consumer and every time I feel like I want to do something I want to just sit down relax read a book or want to watch something and just turn my freaking brain off this quote comes to my head be a producer not a consumer oh you're becoming a consumer don't consume like don't consume too much um, you're a YouTuber, you're supposed to be creating. You're supposed to be making a video right now. Like, what are you doing? And I don't like that. I am i don't like playing by the rules. I like to do my own thing, you know. I like to give myself permission to, to do things that I really want to do at the moment. And I know myself that I am not somebody who if you let go, if you let me do something that I want to do, that I would continue doing it for the rest of my life or like just continue doing it for like five hours or something. There'll be a point where I'll stop and I'll come back and I'll, you know, I'll be like recharged enough to be able to be a producer again or like to put something out. Like you cannot provide from an empty vessel. You have to be at least half full or completely full and nourished in your brain, in your heart, in your mind to be able to authentically do something, especially on YouTube because you are putting yourself out there. And if you're talking about things that you're not passionate about, if you're not talking from your heart, I feel like people get it. And I'm too in touch with myself to be doing that. So I'm not, I'm not going to play this game, you know what I mean? The reason I'm making this video now is because I have been doing this for two and a half years and I'm still not monetized, right? I don't even know if I'll get monetized this year or next year or I don't know when that's going to happen, if that's going to happen. But I still choose to do it only because of the fact that I like doing it. I like making content. I like talking. It's a form of journaling for me. I'm not somebody who would sit down and journal, like write down my thoughts and let it out of my system. That's because journaling is like too slow of a process for me. Like it takes so much time. I don't want to sit down and write, 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 write. I want to talk. Like I want to talk to a friend. I want to Talking is faster and I feel like talking also helps you because you're listening to yourself. So sometimes certain things that make sense in your mind, when you say it out loud, it makes no sense. That's when you're like, oh my God, that's, no, you shouldn't be thinking like that. Like that's wrong. So that's why I like making YouTube videos. There was this one point when I used to make a lot of, Instagram reels like I was so obsessed with it like I used to make reels and make it better and 
it was just my form of creativity. It still is. I still do make reels, but I changed and shifted my focus from Instagram to YouTube because I felt like YouTube is form of a meditation for me. But then I started comparing myself to others and similar channels and even though I'm getting inspiration from them, I am taking inspiration from them. I'm applying certain things on my channel, but it got me into this very high level of standard that I feel like I can never achieve that. And that's making me feel like I'm not doing enough. Honestly, like the reason why I am saying this to you is because I really do not know who needs to hear this. But if you are on a similar journey like me, yeah, I might hit 1000 subscribers before this year ends. And it's funny because I had that goal in my mind. It's on my notion. That's kind of I can dream about it now because maybe it'll happen. I don't know. I have like t less than 20 more people to go to hit my thousand. But again, my watch time hours, if I'm being honest, it's not doing too great. Like it is going up, but it's not growing in a way that I want it to grow or the number of videos that I've put out. I would expect more results from that. And that's not, that's on me. Okay, that's the expectation is on me. Uh, the quality of my content is on me. I know all that. But what I'm saying is if you are on a similar journey like I am, um, you might be able to understand. And I did not, I was not in the mood to make this video today. And I did not want to come on camera and talk negative. But I feel like this is something that has to be addressed, especially on YouTube. And I am someone who is always in touch with myself and my mindset and balance and um, just being mindful of everything I feel. I don't know if it's a curse or a blessing. Sometimes it's a curse because I'm like, I, you know, I just hope I did not feel everything I'm feeling. Like, I just hope I could just move past everything I'm feeling. But I'm so too in touch with myself and too awake that I can't do that. So it doesn't make sense at that point for me to come here and, you know, make a video helping other YouTubers when I'm not ready to talk about my struggle as a YouTuber, right? So I just want this video to be out and reach as many people as possible who needs it. And if it's going to help them, knowing that somebody who is um, a fellow YouTuber like me, like knowing that someone else is going through the same thing, the same disappointment, the same discomfort, the same self-doubt, if that makes them feel better, if that makes you feel like there's somebody else with you on the same journey, and if you can take the, the, the negative from this and make it into a positive, like feel that, oh, I'm not alone. Like there are people mm, on YouTube who are going through similar things and I just have to keep pushing because everybody is pushing. Because they just love being on YouTube. They just love the process of just being able to talk and just, you know, um, create a trail for themselves and people who come after them. And that's actually my intention with this video. And if you are trying to grow your YouTube channel, I want to give you, um, I want to tell you something that might help you. That kind of helped me. I'm still learning, but going live, I won't lie to you, going live is such a big challenge and you have to have real thick skin to be able to go live because this, I, I posted like four, four lives, I guess, on my, on my channel. There are like four lives on this channel 
And the first live I went, there was not many people joining and few people joined. They, you know, send me some nice comments um, and they left. Um, other people joined, they, they went back, all that. It was fine. The second live was also good because one of my subscribers was there like the whole time, like we were talking and a few others were also commenting. It was fine. And I was like in this good spirits, like, you know, wow, okay, live, I can do live, like, it's, it's fine. <laughs> and I went live day before yesterday, one day back. It was brutal, guys. <laughs> um, I go live and I see, like, 35 people join me, like, 35, straight to 35, okay. And I'm like, um, I, I'm still talking, I can see it, but... On live, you can't be like just, you know, staring at the camera and sitting and waiting for people. You know what I mean? Because if you are replaying that live, if you are planning to post that live as public as a regular video, um, you have to you have to talk whatever you came there to talk about. And I was like keeping on talking and there were all sorts of like mean comments. Um, people picking on my accent, people talking about, I don't know, like random stuff. And the fact that I was on that live and that live went on for like 45 minutes and the entire time this was happening, there were like occasional people commenting, asking about some questions and just really connecting and, you know, genuinely wanting to want answers. And there were also people who were like quiet and just listening to you because those are the people who are actually, who actually need your message when you go live, like they may not engage but they'll sit back and listen or they might be doing some errands and they'll listen. But the majority of it was mean comments. And I was like, what's with this mean comments? Like, um, but I went through all that and I came out of it. And for some reason, I felt so victorious. Like I felt like, wow. What was that? What just happened? And that was a moment where I'm like, wow, this is a different, different ball game. This is, this is different. And I was so curious to see what happens with other people's life. And I keep talking about Sianna's thing. Like, you know, she's a big inspiration for me. She's the one who actually motivated me to go live. So that's why I went live. And live is good because it can get you more watch hours. And live is something where you can just be yourself and just talk and you can touch on all different subjects. You don't have to organize everything. You don't have to put B-rolls. You don't have to, um, you know, it, 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 it's, it's more natural uh, on, on, on a live. And I really like the concept. If only those chats did not exist, um, the negative comments. But it got me so curious that I went on other people's live to see what's happening in the chat. Like, you know, what's like, what's with that? I'm not a hateable person. Like, I don't come off. Um, I don't know. Like, I don't think anybody who would see me like would be like, oh, let me hate on her. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I don't I don't speak unkind things on my videos or I don't. I don't comment on people. I don't pass hate. Nothing. So I'm like, what's with this? And I went to other people's live and the amount of comments, like mean, rude, hate comments, spam that people are getting from on their lives, like got me. There was, Sianna was like driving and talking and it's legal, okay? Like she's on live and she's driving, but she's not engaging with the phone. She's not texting or trying to read the messages or nothing. And somebody is texted saying, please crash. I saw that and I was like, got dizzy seeing that. So let me tell you something. This is, this game is hard. Making regular videos is hard by itself. In going live and being so exposed and ripped apart like that is like harder okay you can always post your live when you post it repost it as a regular video you can choose to turn your live chat replay off so those chats that came during your live is not going to be seen on your regular video and i don't think 
it should be seen either if there's a lot of like negative, you know, unnecessary comments from people who are trying to just get a reaction from you. You know, they just they don't want anything like they just want a reaction from you. But the good thing is people commenting like negative comments on your life is actually good for you because YouTube doesn't know if it's like a positive thing or a negative thing. YouTube considers that as engagement. Oh my God, she's getting like 200 comments. <laughs> hundred of them are like regular whatever, like, you know, just hate comment or somebody commenting about your hair or weird stuff. And towards the end of that live, I saw that people were like, oh, all right, I give up. You're, you're rock solid. Like you're untouchable. I give up. So the whole point of, and I watched a bunch of videos talking about like how, what's the spam thing with life? People on YouTube are saying that they're just trying to get a reaction off of you. They're just, they're just eating their burgers and just, you know, scrolling. They see someone, they're like, okay, let me just, you know, let me just bully them for a bit. And, you know, they, those are people who have actually not done a personal work. Like, they're not aware of who they are. And the, the anonymity of this platform, like, just you know, nurtures their uh, rude behavior. That's, that's all that is. It has nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with them. So all I want to say is just get a little, you know, stronger and just go through it. It's fine. Like, I'm not saying that you have to suffer through your um, journey on YouTube. In fact, you have to Try and make it as fun as possible and just go with the flow. Push yourself, push your boundaries a little bit. Just do things that makes you borderline uncomfortable, like going on a live and stuff. But it's really going to help you as a person, even if nothing happens. Even if you your YouTube ends up not growing or something, it doesn't matter at that point because you became better, you became stronger. Like I felt like I had a, I don't know, like a steel armor or something protecting me that was like bouncing all those bullets off of me <laughs> when that was happening. I don't know why I'm laughing. It was funny, it was, to it was truly like funny. But if you wanna grow on YouTube, if you want to like increase your watch hours, um, going live is a good idea. If you want to go live with me, like, I think it's better when two people go live together. We can talk to each other and then we can, like, you know, go to the comments. When it's like a single person show, it's hard to, like, take your eyes off of those comments that come. Like, when even when you're looking at the lens, sometimes some comments, like, you, your eyes just read it, you know, you can't. And then it'll, like, completely throw you off. Your, your topic or whatever you're talking because it's like negative thing, right? Always negative comments and negative stuff is like too loud. And positive things like likes, shares, uh, people silently sitting and watching you, not engaging, but they're getting value. So they're literally watching you, still watching you. Those things are like subtle and quiet and silent. So it takes so much energy from you to like, really push the negatives outside when the positive thing that's coming is like less like feeble you know so I just want you to understand that even if you're not seeing results there's something happening like there's something happening in the background there's somebody engaging with you within their mind listening to you every time you make a YouTube video there's I always say this I always always stand by this there's always at least one person who needs that message from you, right? So today, when I thought I'm not going to do a video today because I'm not feeling good, I don't have much to talk about. I was like, no, you have something to talk about. I was like asking myself, like, you are not feeling like doing it because you're disappointed or something. Talk about that because that's something that, people need like that's something I need I'm literally listening to other youtubers specifically their videos where they come and say talk about their struggles that really gives me that belonging feeling that oh my god okay I'm not alone I'm not crazy people are going through this so that's all I wanted to tell you guys today
If you want to go live with me, let me know. I have my email in the description. You can email me and we can connect or I have a Calendly on my description. You can book a call with me. It's a free free call. We can just chat and we can see if we have similar interests so we can go live and talk about it and we can go live together and then post it, you know. I'm here to support and I also need support. So <laughs> if you want to do it, let's do it. And if you want to go live alone, these are the things I want you to keep in mind. And yeah, just just keep going and do not quit. Please don't quit because that's not going to give you any peace of mind. You know what I mean? Um, don't quit. Just keep going. Okay? Bye. I'll see you in the next one.